We are at the Zuko base camp. Perhaps that side is Nagaland side. We are at the Zuko base camp from Manipur side. This is uh, Karthik, the SP of Senapati, and he's with me. Then we have AC 2nd MR, the commander of the base camp. So they are the ones who are are looking after this area and to ensure that there's no law and order problem in these areas. <laughs> We will go and see the, the boundary where, uh, uh, where our police have also set up a kind of check gate. It's a bit of a climb. We'll go and check it out and see our deployment as well. And also enjoy the beauty of the nature, the environment around here. This walk is approximately maybe we may just take one hour or so. It's a gradual climb and uh, it's right in the heart of the middle of the forest. As you can see, the forest over here are untouched. It's beautiful, huge trees grown all over. Even DC. Whitish ones are also quite common. No, you don't do this. You see, you see. Ah, this is Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I know, but this is minor climb. When I was in NPA, Yeah, it's a good season. Now this, this area is looking like the one that we came from in from Nagaland side. Yeah, it's yeah. like this. Yeah. And uh, that side, then we climb from the Dushaman. No? Very steep. In fact, with our rucksack, we were walking on all fours, mm. climbing up, and it was raining also. So for one hour, it was a steep climb. Once we reached the top like this, from there it was like gradual uh, climb down, descent. And look at the look at the landscape. It's so beautiful. This side is Manipur, the landscape, everything, this is part of Manipur. Perhaps as we move further from there, we will be able to really find out the, the border. And this is the uniqueness and the, the beauty of the place. A lot of these bamboo type of small bamboos growing there, you can make out. This is the typical vegetation around here. And some of the trees, looks like at one time there must have been a fire a fire incident wildfire so like the trees have all been burnt you can still make out even in some portions around here perhaps one of the reasons why it frequently catches fire is mainly because this bamboo itself are very easy to burn so in case of any accidental fire also it'll catch fire and then spread to a large area so you can see the valley, but the Zuko, the real Zuko Valley is, uh, uh, it's, it's in that side. <laughs> uh, it's dug up because uh, we don't want, uh, you know, illegal activities of timber vehicles passing through these areas. That's why this is intentionally dug up so that any timber vehicle, any smuggling of wood, logs, etc. does not take place because it's very difficult for the police to reach this area so this is just one way of ensuring that no such activity takes place around here i mean okay, taking the top to the which was good actually yeah see let me see that that's a beautiful peak I think one of these days we are going to uh, attempt to climb this peak for today. I'm not sure we can make it, but it's a nice peak. So because they can't turn there. So this is our last point. We are not here to dig up any disputes. We are just here to ensure that you know no illegal activities take place and also ensure that the uh, what do you call whatever deployment that we have are doing their duty properly perhaps perhaps that side is Nagaland side uh, that side is Nagaland side this side is Manipur side Possibly this is the boundary. This is the peak. In fact, uh, the Zuko Valley is actually this side only. These are the peaks. Uh, this is all Manipur side. If we cross
goes towards the side, if you climb down from those mountain side, then the Zuko Valley starts. So the Zuko Valley also has a stream. The stream, I'm told, uh, subject to correction. On one side, this side is uh, this Manipur territory, and the other side is Nagaland territory. But uh, nevertheless, uh, I think the most important thing is to preserve the, the beauty of the place rather than fight over issues of these matters. They can just tie some ropes and then people can walk by holding them. The MMTA fellows, they can help us in climbing up. Now we are coming back from the border inspection. So we're going to go down to the base camp again. We'll rest and halt the night here. That's how it is done. This is a bonfire. Uh, it's, I mean, we are going to have a very good evening here. So, we have started the bonfire. Maybe after this, uh, just before dinner, we will have a round of <laughs> a round of a lot of things. <laughs> No, I know because in the village. Oh. Then after some time when we came to Imphal, uh, this buying wood was becoming expensive. So we used to go and buy sawdust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes if the food is not spicy, some people may like to eat. That disposable, sorry, the what do you call um, portable table yes. huh? yes, can be arranged and basic uh, cups and trays for tea whenever uh, officers visit. Huh? That is very important.
This is the route from Mao to the our police uh, Juku base camp, and this is somewhere halfway. If you look at the scenery from here, the various places, uh, I think that is Maram. Is it or is it Mao? It's Maram. It's Maram. I think that's where the Don Bosco and all are there. And uh, Karti, can you tell me what what village is there over there? Karamakut. Village. Huh. So Namai village. It's very beautiful, right on top of the hill. I don't know whether it's visible with that camera, but over there it's very nice. Really nice. And this, are, this is Sajuba. This one, this one, sir. This one? Yeah. Oh. Wow, oh, yeah. So, so these are some of the villages. This is Pudunamai. Pudunamai. Okay, that's Pudunamai. Hmm. This oh, this is Navodai. Okay, okay. Jain, Jain, so this is Mao Navodai. Sorry, I, 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 I got it wrong. That is not Maram. This is, Ma, uh, this is Mao uh, Navodai. Uh, it's a school. And uh, from here, we have a very splendid view of a lot of places here. In fact, even the mountain range also over there is very beautiful. So, this is the somewhere in between uh, from Mao to the base camp of Zuko and sometimes the weather also changes suddenly as you can see now rain is coming occasionally it rains it stops it rains it stops so if you are lucky uh, we, we don't face the rain but on a certain day like if you are not so lucky then like we get caught in the rain